Hey, John from Superbase here, and today we're kicking off launch week number seven by open sourcing our logs. This means you can run the logs package as a separate service, self-host it anywhere, or run it alongside the rest of the Superbase stack in local development. So this is a huge step towards one of our big goals at Superbase, which is to make everything that is called a Superbase open source and portable so you can pick and choose the bits of the stack you actually need. In this video, we're gonna run the Superbase stack locally, making requests from another app, which is also running locally, and check some of the new logs we have access to in development mode. Let's get into it. Here I have the full Superbase stack running locally with a basic project that has a single table for countries. In my app, I can get a list of those countries using the Superbase JS client by querying data from the countries table and selecting all columns. This then gives me back a list of countries which I'm iterating over and for each country rendering a paragraph tag with the country's name. And so if we head over to the browser, we can see that each of the countries in our database are being rendered to the page. Now, if we go over to the Superbase dashboard and go to logs, we can see that we have this new section for Kong API, which has that request we just made for all countries. And we can dig into the logs and see that this was sent from node fetch. It was a get request and it was sent using the HTTP 1.1 protocol. And the response we got back had a 200 status code. Now, if we force our application to throw an error, by maybe trying to query a table that doesn't exist, like states, we're going to see this scary error in the browser that countries.map is not a function. And this one is a runtime error, so that's about all the information we used to be able to get locally. But now we can head back over to our logs, we can see that that one was a 404, and we could dig a little bit deeper into what may have happened. And we can cross-reference this with our Postgres logs and everything else that we have in Superbase, and be able to track down our bugs much more quickly. That's some open source without the risk of leaking because it's running locally. Okay, we're running a hackathon and a whole bunch of live events throughout launch week. So make sure you're following Superbase on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel with that little notification bell ringing. Until next time, keep building cool stuff.